I'm in some dream when I look at you. Yeah, you. And I'm giving high fives out for free to everyone I see just because I want to. What's up? Can't put my finger on it. Find the words to explain. I just know I want it. That thing. Give me that. You guys, we are doing a really interesting interview today. So, let's get into the meat of it. <laughs> Um, guys, we have a really interesting and questionably, we'll see how it goes because it's the first time I've ever done anything like this. But I have with me today Kylie Pickrell. Pickrell. Kylie Pickrell. Yes, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I have with me Kylie Pickrell, and we have her by FaceTime. So we're gonna try and do an interview the best that we can. We've got, I'm gonna, I'll probably do a little behind the scenes to show how many cameras we've got going at the moment, but I don't wanna pick up any of them and move them because I feel as though it's all just like perfectly, yeah, it's perfectly in, in balance at the moment. But um, do you wanna introduce yourself to the camera, to your camera? Okay, um, hi, like she said, my name's Kylie Pickrell. I'm 23 years old. I'm from the United States, but I just played my first season in France. So that's how we got to meet each other. <laughs> yes, and we're both a little bit just like slightly obsessed with photography and videography. Kylie does a does a vlog as well, which I'll obviously link to. Mine's not mine is not as you know cinematically impressive, but it's a good time. It is, it's really fun and it really shows you the the nitty-gritty of life as a pro. I mean, sort of like Everything from traveling to friends to you know spending your birthday like without family near enough alone. But you know these are the kind of things that you need to know if you want to play pro volleyball. It is, it's real. It's, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Everybody thinks it is, but it's not. <laughs> so I guess I will just start by asking you. That was sort of my first question. Leads into my first question, which is. In your first season, like I've written everything down. Normally I have it on my phone, but I'm still, like my technology is, is, I'm using my phone to actually speak to Kylie, so I've written it down like a, like a pleb. Um, it's, your, it's been your first season playing pro, playing abroad. What is the best part about playing pro volleyball? I would say when it was all said and done, being able to travel and go see friends that were in this league with me and then make new ones, obviously, because now we're friends, uh, that was probably my favorite part. I had, hmm, what were there, 14 teams in our league, and I want to say at least 10 of them I knew somebody or got to know somebody uh, on every one of those teams, so that's kind of what I always looked forward to was traveling or having other teams come travel to us and getting to see all these people, so that was really fun. Even if you only get 20 minutes to talk, maybe after a match or after serving pass or something, um, yeah, that was by far my favorite part is just getting to make those connections with other girls. Yeah, it's something really special because we're kind of in this together, you know? We're all far from our family. We're all sort of living this half dream, half, I don't even know what to call it. This this situation is really unique and it's really nice to bond with other people that are in the same. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How would you compare playing pro volleyball to playing in college? The mental game is the biggest part of playing pro because you don't just go, August to December, you get there in August and you might be lucky enough to get a break if, over Christmas. It kind of depends on what your club decides, but your season goes through April. It's a complete grind for eight months. You know, you don't necessarily get an off season in spring like you're used to. And so being smart enough to take care of your body the right way, make sure you're eating the right foods and doing the right care for yourself, but at the same time mentally getting to that point where you know that this isn't just something that you do for four months. It's a complete and total mental shift, I think is the biggest thing you've gotta wrap your mind around. Yeah, that's really, really good advice because as you say, sometimes people think that it's all sunshine and rainbows and you've been playing volleyball your whole life, so it's just like playing volleyball in college or in high school, but it's, you're far from your family. Your teammates do become your family and the club is there to support you when you need it, but you spend a lot of time in your apartment and kind of like reflecting, so it takes a lot of mental strength. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing too. If you don't have 
stuff to keep you busy or hobbies or things that you just want to completely invest in when you're not on the court and you just get stuck in your thoughts it's it's a long road already, but it's gonna be an even longer one if you are not productive in other ways outside of volleyball. That's a really good point, is to find things that you can do outside of volleyball that will take your mind off it and like let yourself. Exactly. Like start a YouTube channel, just saying. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> Who is your volleyball idol? Courtney Thompson, she played pro, she was on Team USA, played at Washington. She's such a go-getter, she's intense all the time, and she's one of those players that for the position that she was in as a setter, undersized, she's not what you see or you would expect to see in professional volleyball. You know, the game's gotten so tall, but she's somebody that said, oh, I'm not 6'4", okay, well, watch me outwork you at 6'4". And if she wasn't the person that was on the court, she was always so supportive of her teammates and always there for everybody. My sophomore year of college, I was still at ASU in the Pac-12. She was friends with a couple of our coaches and came by one of our practices and we were doing a surf pass and she was watching me set and she came by afterwards and was so encouraging. Was like, hey man, I like your hands and I like this and you're so athletic and blah, blah, blah. Just totally hyping me up. And she didn't even know who I was. And I, that is like something I've held on to since then. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing in the entire world. Like she thinks I'm good at volleyball. And, and that's amazing that you had that really that one-on-one -on -one experience that touched you and you've gone and taken it with you through your career. Because I think sometimes as volleyball players, we, maybe you and I even don't even, we're not at the same level, you know, as national team, but there are young girls that might be looking up to you and I, and we never you never know when you could say the right thing to the right person that gives them some motivation or some sort of drive to be the best version of them. And that's what I love about sport is that it can, you can really convey those kind of emotions and give that to someone else. And that's really cool that she gave that to you. That was a big, big moment for me. So I'm definitely putting that part in. That's, that's inspirational. <laughs> We'll tag her. Courtney, please watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is the best setting advice you ever got? Um, I would definitely say um, is to just go and let it flow. You know, go be athletic. I've always been told and always thought that I think one of the biggest strengths that I have is my athletic ability to be able to move around on the court and get to certain places I need to. But in order to do that, I have to be relaxed, you know, I have to just let it flow and go and trust that I know what I'm doing. And I think that's probably the biggest thing that I always come back to when I know I'm struggling and I'm trying to get through a rut is just go, let it flow. You know, you're an athletic person, you're in this position for a reason. Just go, you know, go and do that. Go and show them why it is you're out on the court. So that's probably my biggest thing. Yeah let it flow because you also have this muscle memory you don't realize that you've done this you've done it hundreds of thousands of times and just because it's in that moment that's like maybe a pressure situation you know what you're doing just that's really good advice just let it flow yeah it's definitely i mean the moments where i catch myself trying to think and even times i'm like you know in my head just go back to basics go back to basics i don't need to have all this other stuff in my head, just don't even think. Go and play and just let it all out there. What would you say to college players that are thinking about going pro? You know, I won't ever sugarcoat it for anybody. It is really, really hard. And there are moments where you are going to question and not like what it is that you're doing, but it's really worth it. You get to see a completely different side of volleyball, completely different side of yourself. You know, you're in a new country, new people. It's all around, it's a really encompassing new experience. You know, if you do let it get out of control, you do kind of feel like you're drowning sometimes, but take it in little bits and it can be the most fun thing you've ever done. So I would, I highly recommend it. Even if you only do it for a little bit to say that you even got the chance to, I don't think it's something that you should pass up on. Yeah. And it's probably the kind of thing with anything in life, it, you'll get out of it as much as you put into it. If you go over with an open mind, thinking, I know I'm gonna have tough days, I know I'm gonna make new friends, I'm gonna have new experiences, but you just dive in head first. Like, like I've seen you do, do that because I've seen your vlogs where you're traveling, you're trying new foods, you're just experiencing it to the fullest. 
the volleyball and all the rest of it as well. And then you you're just gonna you're gonna get as much out of it as you put into it. Yes, exactly. Do you have any hidden talents or passions outside of volleyball? One, of course, is YouTube, but I would say, and I've definitely taken advantage of this with my mom now that we're all in quarantine, is baking and cooking, especially trying new recipes is, no pun intended, our bread and butter. When moving to France, I would definitely say that I wasn't as adventurous with cooking just because I found the foods that I liked and you know, you wanna do like your chicken and your vegetables and all that stuff. So I wasn't as adventurous, but I still, I would say 95% of the time cooked all my meals living over there. Good talent to have, especially when you're living, living abroad. I'm more of a like, I'm just gonna make pizza or, or pasta and throw in a couple of vegetables and call it a day. <laughs> all right, so I have a couple of quick fire questions for you now, just to finish it off. Ooh, okay. Molten or Mikasa? M molten? Wait, no, what? Isn't that the ball brand? <laughs> Mikasa, Mikasa. So we, we use Molten in France, but Mikasa is the yellow and blue one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I would definitely, I like the the yellow and blue ones. Yeah. Mikasa. Mikasa, Mikasa, there we go. <laughs> beach volleyball or snow volleyball? Ooh, I love beach volleyball. So I'm gonna have to pick that, but I definitely think it would be fun to, you know, test the waters in snow. Cook at home or eat out? I think I know the answer to this one already. Cook at home. <laughs> Cardio or weights? Uh, weights. Netflix or YouTube? YouTube, definitely. You can go down a whole rabbit hole. <laughs> long socks or short socks? I wear short, but I want to switch to long for next season. Okay, switch it up. Cool, awesome. That is all of my questions. Woo, we did it! Woo, we did it! <laughs> Thank you so much. This was really, I really hope that the, the audio and everything is gonna sync up because I think there was a lot of value in that. And I hope that you guys got some value from it. I'm sure that, uh, I never know how to end these things. <laughs> I know, I'm always like, um, so, so I'll see you next time. Um, <laughs> um, I hope you guys got some value from it and we'll see you next time. Bye everybody! <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe! <laughs>